Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Skyrim. So last time we ran around, got kind of lost, spoke to a new Dwemer Smith who allowed us to make a bunch of cool gear. And then Numenar told us to head into the Boiling Foundry, which is apparently hidden below Low Moor. Here's the problem. I looked bloody everywhere. I had to look it up. I'm not afraid to admit I never would have found this. So we're in the elevator station now. I believe this one over here leads to Skyrim. However, if you look up into the right, boom. There's one of those things there. You use a lolly and ping on that. And then I do believe... Yes, Boiling Foundry. Like I say, had I not looked that up, never would have found it. And damn, this place looks cool and incredibly dangerous. Find the titanium drill bits. Okay. Right, so we have a lever there and a pipe. I'm guessing if we fall down there, I'm probably gonna die. Oh, can't go in there yet. It requires a key. Right, let's pull the lever. What do you do? Ew. So we got platforms now. And there's no lever for these ones. Oh, well, all right then. Maybe that's just the way back out of the dungeon, maybe it wraps around itself, it'd be kind of cool if it did. Okay, so there's the water tank, and we have another lever, which... Oh, well alright then, ignore everything I just said. Oh, and before I forget, there's a couple of things I should mention very quickly. One, you can probably already... Holy shit. This looks very dangerous. Where do I get... Oh, okay. No one of those... To... Oh, jeez. Well, it makes a giant cog of death. I guess we have to ride the giant cog of death. Probably gonna die. Me and platforming don't work out well, especially me and platforming in Skyrim. And we got a key. Good. The haptic station. I think I read that right? I don't really know. Anyway, so yeah. I left the old Baron Zaga behind just because I don't trust him in here and that AI is kind of derping. I'm gonna install a new follower mod before the next episode. And second of all, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, that's right. I had to revert my save because the game was crashing every one to two minutes, like consistently. And I have no idea why. So I loaded an older save before we made all the Dwemer gear. So we don't have any of that at the moment. But we'll get it back again before next episode. Or, you know, very soon. Hello, buddy. You gonna, uh... Gonna attack me? You're totally gonna attack me. Hello? Can I hit you? No. Well, I'm guessing this lever is probably gonna bring you to life. Yes. That's true. <laughs> Someone else saw that coming. Well, he's uh, kind of squishy. I like that. And yes, I am playing a master. I don't know why I don't play on legendary. It just seems a little bit intimidating to me, so screw that shit. Yeah. yeah. Roadhouse. Dramatic Kokim. We got the point. He died. And we get a transfer key. Uh, can I do anything now that he's not here anymore? Doesn't look like it. So, uh, logic says this key is probably going to be for the levery door thingy past the pipe, because where the hell else we can possibly go? I have no idea, unless we can somehow platform around this room, but I really kind of hope not, because it looks very dangerous. Okay, good, it does go here. Right, so what's in here to murder me this time? Oh, shit. Really? Oh, my God. This, uh, this doesn't bode well. Is that a dead end? I think it's dead end. Let's get Whirlwind Sprint ready, because it just seems kind of handy here, and... Yeah, try and get over there, even though it looks like there's nothing here, but... Why would you be able to go this way if there wasn't? Hello? Secret booty? Is he nothing? Oh, shit! Okay. Don't panic. We're fine. I'm assuming instant death if we fall down there. Maybe the back... Oh, God! Okay! We're fine! Maybe the backpack would save you? I don't really know. I get the feeling the water is probably kind of like lava in here because it's the boiling foundry. Maybe that's what kills you? I don't really know. Well, I got a hand to them. This is certainly very different. I, again, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I... Oh, shit. But I really like the music here. There's also uh, music in the regular Low Moor area, which I only noticed recently. It's... It kind of reminds me of, like, smooth jazz. Yeah, I don't know how audible that was in the video, because obviously I had to turn the volume down on everything except the voices when I edited it, because otherwise my voice would just get drowned out, and let's be honest here, you want to hear my silky smooth tones. Right, so... This is a very... Oh, hello, buddy. It's a very intimidating-looking room. And you, sir, seem kind of stuck. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I kind of want to beat him to death with my crossbow, but... It might take quite some time. Oh, well, you know, maybe not. So go on, let's. And he's got nothing for me. You freeloader. Right, so we can go over here. What's in here? The Hall of Anor. Sounds cool. It also sounds very important. Leads me to a lever, which is locked. Really? 
Is there nothing in here? No secret lullian ping thingies? All right then. Oh god, this terrifies the shit out of me. Okay, yeah. We're gonna stay on here and we're gonna save it, cause... Yeah, I get the feeling we're gonna go off at some point. Maybe not now. But, oh shit! <laughs> Very nearly! But yeah, I get the feeling I'm gonna get knocked off at some point, so... Probably wise to save it before you go doing all of this shit. Really depressing if you got knocked off right at the end, but... Let's just hope that that doesn't happen. Now, oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> That scared the crap out of me! Like, oh. Okay, there's more stuff over there. I think I see a robot filler and... Here's a door. Can I just drop down there? I don't know if we really want to be doing that right now, but it looks viable. But yeah, it also looks like if I do, how the hell do I get back up? So yeah, I guess we'll just keep going, maybe we'll come back to that. But yeah, again, this is a very interesting mechanic, like having to run around the cogs and have the pipes, but oh god, and have the pipes possibly push you off and stuff, but it also seems like it would be really frustrating if it did actually happen, like it's calling concepts, but it seems like something that would be very frustrating if it actually worked out. So oh god, suffice to say, we gotta do our damnedest not to fall off. I mean, you could just cheat and TCL your way up and save all the time and blah blah blah, but you know, if you're playing it properly, it seems kind of annoying, we don't have the key for that. Son of a bitch. Okay, so I guess we do have to go down on the right. Okay, let's do this. Oh shit. Okay, we're absolutely fine. That was kind of scary. Now we're down here. But yeah, like I said, I really hope this is where we have to go and I haven't somehow broken it, because otherwise we're going to have to cheat our way back up, because there is no damn way back up otherwise. But I don't know anywhere else we could have gone, at least that I saw. There might have been other places that we could drop down to or something like that, don't really know, but... For now, this seems like the only viable way to go. The fire column. That sounds friendly. Let's go in there. I... Don't see a fall oh, shit! I... I see a fire column now. <laughs> I guess that's why they call it the fire column. Luckily, we have a shot specifically for this situation become ethereal, cuz... Yeah, what's going on in that shit? I still have tougher traps installed, so the fire will do a metric fuck ton of damage to me, so... We're not going near that, like, it should pretty much instantly kill me. Which is not a good thing, so... Yeah, suffice to say, we don't want that to be happening. I get the feeling we're not supposed to be in here yet, because... We already went to a place with the same name, and it was locked, so... We gotta try checking out these other two directions first, and if we can't do anything here, then we'll come back to that. Right, so that's the boiling room, or the heating room, whatever the hell it said, and... The generator room. Yeah, I guess we're trying here. It sounds, you know, generator room. Maybe we can power something up. I don't really know. Oh, God. Okay. Well, there's one of these dudes. There's two of these dudes. And, yeah, there is one of those blue thingies that was next to the Watchman that we still need to figure out how to do. So I'm guessing we're going to be getting something in this dungeon to power those up. Which makes sense, because then we could hopefully power up the generator by, you know, powering this up, and then maybe go back and power up the Watchman. At least that's my assumption. I don't really know. What the hell are these things? They're like, they're like giant jaws. That's a little bit creepy. It'd be even more creepy if there were like giant fetuses in them or something, but I guess it is a dream place so that wouldn't really make that much sense. Alright, let's go back in the boiling room or the heating room, whatever the hell it was called. The heating room. Well, you guys, go check out this shit, and then we'll go back to the halls of animal. Oh, God! <laughs> yeah, it's the heating room, alright? God damn! Oh shit. Yeah, I'm dying pretty quick. Okay. It's dead. Good lord. Right, what do you have? Hey! The key to the Horse of Anor and Nyx. Well, I guess we did need to come here first. That's handy. Do none of these work? Just the ones like right by the door? That's kind of dickish. Okay, some time later, finally made it back to this door. Now, I believe this was called Nex. Yes. And the key was for Anor and Nex, and Anor just ended up being a shortcut so we could get back to the main room quickly. This is a very shitty looking room. I think we should probably pull out the Carmethor all again. Okay. Which direction do we want to go in? I guess we'll check over here. That's a dead end. Fantastic. I guess we're going this way then. Is this a dead end? Yes. It's going well so far, I would say. Going freaking well. 
Try and get through here very quickly before this wears off. Okay. We're fine. The fire doesn't seem to be doing as much damage as I remember, and I see you up there. There's no one as lolly and ping things. What do you do? Oh, that was become ethereal. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and yeah, it's called lolly and ping. I think I've been quite lolly and ping the entire time. Don't know why. I... I think that opened up the wall in front of me? I don't really know. Was that already like that? Oh. Huh. Okay, so it's like a weird archway that takes us back to the halls of Nyx. What do you do? I don't know. I have no idea. Well, I guess we're going in here then. But this is where we just was. Looks pretty damn similar to me. Wait, what? We can't even go back? Is this one of the dead ends that we found? What the hell is going on? I am really confused right now. Like, what did we just achieve? Uh... I think we're right back to the start. I don't know, it's kind of confusing. I, son of a bitch, I don't think we went this way, no. Okay, so we found the pump control. Good! What's in here? No. Oh, fantastic. Are you a pit of doom? You certainly seem to be. Well, I... Whoa! Holy shit! I did not see you there! You scared the crap. Wait, what? Uh... Why doesn't it take damn... Ah, I get it. We have to knock it in the pits. Right, stand there, buddy. That's right. You're falling right into my trap. See you, jerk. Ouch! Wait, what? Did it respawn? Is that a different one? I am kind of confused right now. Are you dead this time? No. Why does it keep walking back up here? Clearly this is what I'm supposed to do. Like, it doesn't take damage. This has to be it, surely. I guess we'll try it again. You never know. Third oh, God! Third time might be the charm. Get go, on the, go on the pits. Oh, my God. Get, go on the pit, buddy. Try and lure him over here. Come on. There we go. What the hell? It just keeps coming back. It's like Adam Sandler all over again. Wait. Did it die? It was like a, a, a train thing. Train no I don't even know what they call Train horn. It's not even a whole. I don't know. The noise that a train makes. It hasn't come back. Uh. Can I activate this now? No. Or at least I don't think so. What the hell is this? I... I have no idea. What the hell do I do now? Wait, what? What the hell is this? The Rod of Ohm. Was that there the entire time? Is that how I was supposed to kill it? I have no freaking idea. Oh, it restores life to the blue switches. Oh, finally. Holy shit. What do you do? You lower that gate? Yeah. What? Wait, what? Okay, that was weird. Okay, finally we have the freaking switch, so I assume we need to go back to the generator room, because there was one in there. Here's the question, though. When the hell does this take us? The foundry. Have we already been in the foundry? I mean, we are in the foundry, but... Is this a different room? I... It all looks the same to me. I don't know. I think we're somewhere new, because, like, how could... we? I don't see how we could have already been here, because... We went through a door that we couldn't previously access, so... Assumably, this is gonna lead us to something that we need. But yeah, we do need to remember to go back and power up that generator. This might just be a shortcut back there, I don't really know. Yes, uh... Is it just me or are these things quicker than last time? Yeah, that, that's that's pretty damn quick. Holy shit. That nearly hit me. Oh god! Okay. <laughs> I really thought I was going off there. Are they even quicker now? Like, what the hell, man? I swear they're getting, like, quicker and quicker as we go past each one. Maybe that's my imagination. I don't know. And maybe they're all the same speed. It's kind of hard to say. But, yeah, you barely get a chance to get past it. All right, so where does this take us? The bo- Wait, what? The whole place is the Boiling Foundry, and then we just went to the Boiling Foundry Foundry and the Boiling Foundry Boilery. That's just confusing, but, yeah, this is definitely a new room. Right, so before we go down, let's try heading up and see what the hill is up with this. Just looks like we have a door here. Can we access you? No. It's also called the Foundry. The names in this place are a little bit confusing, I've got to be honest. Well, I guess we're going down here then. What the hell is this guy take? Because I assume to the key, but... Yeah, still need to go power up the generator, because that's bound to do something. 
It might just be a secret or something. I don't really know. Uh, where are we now? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is the first room that we came in. Wait, what? Why would I want to be here? Oh, man. I am so confused right now. Like, holy shit. Okay, so think, brain, think. We need a key. And we can power up the generator. So, assumably, powering up the generator is somehow going to get us the key. It might just unlock the door automatically. It, it might just be that the door is locked until you power up the generator. There might not be a key. I already know, but uh, yeah, either way, so I guess I'm going to cut out the trip until I get there, because we're still quite a distance away, so. Give me a moment here. Okay, it's power up this puppy. What the hell do you do? Uh, did I even hit it? I feel like... I mean, I didn't hear anything. I didn't see anything. Again, it might just be the air unlocks that door. So I guess I'll go check. Because I don't see anything else around here that it seems to have done. Well, right then. Anyway, yeah, give me a moment here and I'll try and figure out what the bulls were doing. Okay, so once again, I had to look this up, and in my defense, this kind of matches in with everything else. There's a lock chest here, you power it up, you get the key. I didn't even realize it was a chest, I thought it was part of the stand, so, yeah. That sucked. I've been running around everywhere like I must be missing a key, where the hell is it? Bam! Right there. Son of a bitch. Well, anyway, we know where to use it, so, let's go do it. Okay, please tell me this is the right key. Yes! Oh, finally! Holy shit! It took so long! And there are more spinning cogs of doom. Well, fantastic. On the plus side, I don't see any of the push things to knock us off, but... It really wouldn't surprise me if they just pop out of nowhere and do it anyway. But I do see giant machines of death, so... I'm gonna try and kill them. If you know, they stop rotating around all over the damn place. <laughs> God damn, it's like a shooting gallery! St yes, gotcha! Okay, can I get another one? No is the answer to that. Because we kind of need to go a little bit closer. Don't fall off of the cogs, for God's sakes. That was kind of close. All right, we're close enough now. Yes, we are. Okay, just one more left. And yes, you're damn right we're going to cheese them from a distance, because screw that shit. And nobody got time for that, right? You have nothing, so I'm guessing you also have nothing. All right, so, are we done here? Like, are we finally done in the boiling foundry? I just want to get the draw bits. Like, seriously. Platforming and me, we, we just don't mix. Especially in Skyrim. Skyrim platforming, it just... I don't work at the best of times. Like, holy shit. Alright, what's in here? Uh, a giant hallway. Which I don't trust, so we're gonna save the game. Now. What the hell is that? Oh, shit! <laughs> Jesus, man. Okay. That's a lot of fire columns. Like a lot. Okay, we're fine. Only just run out of time, but you know, whatever. We're in the main forge. About damn time. Ew. What the? Is that a Dwemer dragon? Ah, shit. Time for another save, me thinks. Cause yeah. We gotta die. I can just tell. Now, I assume we have to do something with the... Okay. Makes lava pour from the ceiling. Naturally. Guessing that might be. Oh shit. I feel like it needs Flat of the Valkyries playing right as it's lowering. Oh, good lord. Hey, buddy! Whistle on ya! <laughs> God damn! Oh, wait, so that's why they call him the Whistling King. Well, looks like the drill bit that we need is up here, so. Do we even have to kill this guy? What happens if I power all of these up? I. I don't know. I really don't know. Did that do anything? Do I have to pour the lava on the boss to kill it? It's kind of hard to say. Well, let's try popping a cap in his ass and see if it actually does any damage, but it really wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't. Don't breathe your shit on me. Yeah, I don't think we can hit this guy. It's possible that I'm missing, but I don't think I am, so... Let's try grabbing the drill bits. Oh, we can. Oh, God. So... Can I just book it out of here? It kind of looks like I can. But I'm guessing killing this guy is gonna yield some sort of reward, so... Oh, Jesus! We're gonna kill him! Just need to figure out how. 
That's right, buddy. Come over here. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, shit. You might hurt me, though. Did I hit it? I don't think I'm hitting it. Okay, it's down. Now, I believe. Yes. Okay, so it's weird, because it seems like you pour... Yeah. You pour the lava on it, and then you get a few shots to actually do some damage, and then it becomes invulnerable again, so... You kind of have to lure him into the lava, do some damage quickly, then rinse or repeats. At least that seems to be the way it goes, but yeah. You kind of... Oh, God! Oh, God! Okay, we're fine. Kind of. He kind of murdered me horribly last time I was trying to figure it out, so... Yeah. This time... This time it's personal. And the, uh, the crossbow seems to do damage very, very quickly to him. Which seems like the best way to do it, because... It doesn't seem like he's capped on damage, it's more that he's capped on... Like, time. Like, you get maybe five seconds or something, so the most powerful thing that we have... I think is the crossbow. At least, I hope so. Because otherwise, we might be able to kill him already. Yeah, oh god! It's going pretty well so far. I don't know what you would do if you didn't have become ethereal. Like, this guy hits incredibly hard. Like, holy shit. Okay, almost lavered myself there. Okay, one more shot, and... You're mine! Yes! Oh, suck on that. Damn, that felt good. Okay, so what do you have, Whistling King? What?! You only have my bolts. Okay, stay calm. I'm guessing we're gonna get a reward somehow, you know, like maybe Numenor's gonna be like, Hey, you killed the Whistling King, have this awesome weapon or something. At least I hope so, because if that was entirely pointless, that really sucks. I mean, maybe we might not have been able to leave the room without killing him, I didn't try. But yeah. Where's my booty? Like, seriously. That sucks. Well, anyway, I'm gonna end it here next time. We'll hand in the drill bit to Numenor and find out what the hell we're supposed to be doing next. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Skyrim. And I went completely the wrong way. Son of a bitch.